This video is here to explain the term oligopoly, what it is, and how it works within a market. So, an oligopoly is a market which is dominated by two or more companies, but still few enough so that any one company can have an impact on the market itself. As there are so few companies within an oligopoly, the customers don't have much choice and always like to go for the cheapest option. This means that the companies end up having the same or very similar prices to each other for their product, and they end up with a similar market share. Now, because of the fact that any action each of the companies take within an oligopoly can affect the market, the companies like to keep a close eye on each other. So take four companies, A, B, C and D. If company A suddenly needed to raise the price of their product for whatever reason, the other companies will do nothing to their price. They'll just sit back and reap the rewards. Company A will start to lose part of their market share as they are now more expensive, whilst companies B, C and D will gain those customers and increase their market share. This could eventually lead to the demise of company A. In turn, if company A decided they wanted a larger market share and lowered their price, this could lead to a price war. Companies B, C and D would also lower their prices, and in an attempt to gain back any customers they lost to company A, they could lower their price even further. This is great for the customers as they all end up paying less, however the companies all end up in the same position as they were in before, with the same market share, but now they're earning less money as their prices are down. Companies in an oligopoly don't like price wars, as they want to earn as much money as possible. This could lead to the companies arranging a meeting and deciding that all of them would raise their prices together. This is called collusion, and although it's largely illegal around the world, it can still happen. For example, in 2008, Singapore Airlines and South African Airways were both charged and heavily fined for collusion by price-fixing tickets on flights between Hong Kong and Johannesburg. In an oligopoly market, as each company sells the same product, they need to find ways to differentiate from each other and draw more customers away from the other companies to their own without changing the price of their product. There are several ways the companies can do this. They can market their product to try and make it seem like it's of better quality than the others, and they can market their company to seem more trustworthy and reliable than the others. They can also make use of special deals, such as buy one get one free, or buy ten months worth and get two extra months free, and this can help to draw in customers by making them think that they're getting more value for their money. They can also introduce loyalty schemes. This keeps customers coming back for rewards, such as airlines with their frequent flyer programs. There are high barriers of entry into an oligopoly market, helping existing companies keep their profits. These being economies of scale, as well as access to expensive and complex technology meaning that the existing companies can produce their product more cheaply and efficiently than any smaller new companies. This helps to discourage anyone from trying to enter the market. If a newcomer does manage to enter into the market, the existing companies may carry out strategic actions to destroy these new firms. One tactic is to purposely lower their price and absorb any losses that may come with it. This way the newcomer will find it very difficult to gain any market share and may disappear from the market completely because they simply cannot afford to sell their product for that price. The demand curve for an oligopoly market is called a kinked demand curve. The reason for it being kinked is that it is actually made up of two demand curves. One curve for demand when the price is raised and the other for demand when the price is lowered. This is because, as was said earlier in the video, the other companies in the market have different reactions for whether you raise or lower your price, therefore affecting demand. When a company raises its price, the other companies do nothing, and the company will see a large decrease in the quantity demanded, meaning the demand is elastic when the price is increased. When a company decides to lower their price, the other companies follow suit. This means the company will see very little change in the quantity demanded for their product, meaning the demand is inelastic when the price is decreased. This all results in a very strange marginal revenue curve. There will be a marginal revenue curve for when the price is increased, and there will be a marginal revenue curve for when the price is decreased. This means the marginal revenue curve for the kink demand curve will look like this. The gap in the marginal revenue curve is where the marginal cost can fluctuate without changing the equilibrium price and quantity of the product.